Hello and welcome to EasyLux. In this product video, we will be showing you how to install the MD C360i8 and MD C360i24 ceiling mounted motion detectors, as well as the MD 360i8 MIC ceiling mounted motion detector. The products have a 360 degree field of detection. However, they do have different detection ranges. At the recommended installation height of 2.5 to 3 meters, the detection range of the MDC 360i8 and MDC 360i8 MIC covers a diameter of 8 meters while the MDC 360i24 has a detection range of 24 meters. SE Lux ceiling mounted motion detectors are suitable for use in rooms that receive very little or no natural daylight, such as passageways or changing rooms. We generally recommend installing these products in the middle of a room, but the exact position ultimately depends on the characteristics of the room. To ensure that the detectors work effectively, it is important that the detector has an unobstructed view of employees and their workplace. Channel 1 of the detector is used for presence-dependent lighting control. Settings for the switch-off delay time, the short impulse and test function, and the brightness target value can be configured for this purpose. The MDC 360i8 MIC also features an acoustic sensor. The acoustic sensor helps the infrared sensors with presence detection when movement occurs at the edges of angled or open spaces. However, the acoustic sensor is not activated until the infrared sensors have detected the presence of a person. Please note that the detectors may be installed only by authorised personnel in compliance with the installation regulations and standards applicable in the country of use. During the installation process, the five safety rules must be observed. Please also note that the installation process for only the motion detectors with the article numbers shown here is described in this video. There are three possible ways available to install the detectors. For recessed mounting in the ceiling, the ceiling presence detector can be installed using a standard recessed electrical box. For surface mounting, a surface mounting box is required. This accessory can be ordered separately from our product catalogue. Recessed can housings for in-ceiling mounting can also be found in our product catalogue. First, screw the spring assembly to the power supply unit. Then feed the cable through the cable gasket and connect it to the spring assembly. By gently pressing it, the power supply unit can be inserted into the recessed can housing. Finally, depress the springs and insert the can into the ceiling. The operating voltage of the ceiling mounted motion detectors is 230 volts AC. Terminal clamp L for line voltage. The L terminal clamp is the switched output. Additional detectors can be connected in parallel here. Terminal clamp N for neutral Y connection. Terminal clamp S makes it possible to connect a push button. Once you have wired the power section, secure it using two screws. Before securing the sensor section to the power section, ensure that the dip switches have been pre-configured for the relevant application. If the first dip switch points towards the remote control symbol, parameters can only be configured remotely. For this reason, settings cannot be modified via potentiometers. If the switch points towards the screwdriver symbol, sabotage protection is active. In this case, settings cannot be configured via remote control. The second dip switch allows you to select between the fully automatic and semi-automatic lighting control modes. 
If semi-automatic mode is active, the third dip switch can be used to configure whether the user can use the button to only switch on the lighting or to switch the light on and off. The sensitivity of the detector can be modified using the fourth dip switch, S-min, for optional masking of interference sources such as fans and heating elements. Once the sensor unit is attached, the power can be connected again. The warm-up phase is then initiated. This phase lasts approximately 25 seconds. During this time, the lighting is switched on. The red and blue LEDs flash alternately to visually indicate the warm-up phase. When the warm-up phase is complete and the detector is in normal mode, the red LED flashes as soon as a movement is detected in the field of detection. The MIC variant also features a green LED that flashes when noise is detected. If the detector has been switched to programming mode via remote control, this is indicated by a blue LED. The ceiling mounted motion detectors are delivered with a program and are set to fully automatic mode factory settings. The potentiometer for the brightness target value is set to 100 lux. The potentiometer for the switch off delay time is set to approximately 5 minutes. If necessary, you can modify the parameters by rotating the relevant potentiometer. In addition to the MIC version, you can adjust the sensitivity of the acoustic sensor. If the potentiometer is turned all the way to the left, then you will deactivate the acoustic sensor. By turning the potentiometer to the right, you will increase the sensitivity of the acoustic sensor. To achieve the most precise parameter settings, we recommend the Remote Control Mobile PDI MDI or the Mobile PDI MDI Universal. In case certain areas of the room should not be detected by the sensor, a lens mask can be used to mask individual areas of detection. This is very useful in order to mask areas of interference such as heaters or fans. Cut the lens mask along the designated line as desired. Then place the lens mask into the cover plate and secure it with a half turn. The detector is now ready for operation. Visit us at easylux.com for further information about our products.